What's going on guys? Today I have a video for the Canon 80D and that is uh, specifically for time lapses. Now when this camera came out it was kind of advertised that um, there was it wasn't advertised that there was only one way to do time lapses, but it was advertised as like the way to do time lapses, and that is in uh, the video mode, which pretty much everyone knows about. Um, so like when people were doing camera reviews on stuff uh, and stuff on this, it was they were showed uh, the time lapses through video mode. But there's actually another way to do time lapses with this camera, and it's through the photo um, function or when you're like in the camera settings. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that because for me I like to do star time lapses and with the video time lapse function I can't do that and if you get um, I'll try to make it clear which one is which um, but it's kind of obvious I think so let's get into it I'm gonna show you how to do this now so if you are on the photo function you're first gonna want to toggle that to um, the photography mode or the camera mode up at the top and then your screen's gonna go black, which means you are in uh, the photography function. And then you wanna go to menu, and now that you're in the camera settings and menus, you're gonna wanna go to the top left to the camera button, and then you're gonna wanna go over to the fourth tab, and there's interval, interval timer, bulb timer, anti-flicker shoot, blah, blah, blah. We don't want any of that besides interval timer. So you're gonna wanna click on that, hit enable, um, and then info, details, uh, settings, and all that. So the interval is however many um, seconds or minutes you want in between each shot. And then the number of shots is the number of uh, images it wants you to take. So it goes all the way up to 99 shots, and then after that it goes to unlimited. So you can't put in a specific number after like 100 shots that you want. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna set it at two seconds, and then, uh, or two seconds in between, in between each shot, and then I'm gonna take three shots. So after all that, you hit okay, and then have press the shutter button so that the screen goes black again. And then you're going to want to set up your camera so that it's focused and uh, you have everything set up, your subject is in the frame, and all of that. And then once you have everything all set up, ready to go, you're ready to start the time lapse, you um, press down the shutter button. And every, uh, in between the interval that you set it at, it's going to take, start taking pictures. And so the good thing about taking time lapses through this setting is now you have the ability to do star time lapses, you can do longer exposure time lapses, um, and you have access to all of the still images you took during that time lapse sequence. Unlike the video option, you the camera does a video and then it exports it uh, as a video like the iPhones do and uh, all the other smartphones do. And so I was really happy to find that the camera does this option or has this option in it because now I don't have to buy an intervalometer uh, shutter release cable. Instead, I can just use this in the camera itself. And I think a lot of people were interested in that, but they didn't know the camera didn't have that, but I could be wrong. So if you knew about it, cool, that's awesome. And then with the camera I had before this, my Canon T3i, I had to download Magic Lantern, which kind of voids the warranty and all that for the camera. And so, I was, that was the only way to take time lapses on that. But now that I have this, I can take better quality time lapses and I don't have to have Magic Lantern that voids a warranty or anything on it. And plus, they don't even have Magic Lantern for this camera yet. So, I just wanted to show you how you do time lapses through the photo function on the camera so that you don't have to do video time lapses anymore so you can have access to the still images and you can uh, you have a lot you have a bigger advantage or a, a better advantage to the still images because now you can do a lot more things in post-production that you couldn't do with the video so thanks again for watching if you have a question comment leave it down below like this video of course and subscribe for more camera tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.